Hey guys, good morning. Happy Monday. It's Daryl here. It's 7 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. No walks. Not not right now. No bike ride yet because it is pouring outside. It's another weird day of weather. Maybe 50 degrees and just... Here, take a look outside. <laughs> yeah, I'm not riding a bike in that. All right. A couple things I want to talk about. Uh, so this is the thing. Um, even Republicans now are even... Governors, secretaries of state are joining in and telling Trump to just give it a rest. Um, you see the Senate, is, a lot of the Senate, Toomey came forward, a couple senators came forward and told them, you know, it's, it's time. My fear is this is the, the damage this is doing to the nation. And like I talked about in yesterday's video with the COVID, with the, the, the um, stimulus, just lost in space. And... Um, I'm starting to get a picture watching the morning news and evening news, all the news in between of what might happen this week. All right, so this week we already have terrible, god awful numbers. We hit over 200,000 new cases a day. Uh, if you guys, once again, I'll tell you guys, World Meters, go check it out. It's got the most accurate real time numbers. You know, and, and they are just, we're just going off the charts straight up. And now on the, on the news this morning, they're talking about the airports. Um, even though that they're 50 or 60 percent down from this time last year, there's still millions and millions of people flying across the country. So we're in the middle of a huge spike, and people are just going all across the country on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You know. Can you imagine what's going to? I, I I started to get this picture of Chris, what Christmas might be like. Because um, obviously there won't be a vaccine before Christmas, and uh, that scares the hell out of me. And Black Black Friday, people going out shopping. The people that still do go out to the actual brick brick stores, um, it's a scary thought. And then, okay, so on CBS Morning News, they were interviewing people in North and South Dakota, and you know what? I'm not gonna, you know, no more lecturing, no more. You know what? You guys have been told over and over. You've been shown the numbers, and I picked those states because they they had a they, they were they were talking to a few people on CBS. There's still some other states: Wyoming, Idaho. Um, I, they talk out of both sides of their their face. On one hand, they, yeah, I care about my family and my friends, but it's my right to wear, to not wear a mask. You know, they had one nurse on CBS Morning News just just Monday morning just now. And she works in a COVID-19 unit. And her and her girlfriend were going into a bar where nobody had masks on and they didn't have any masks on. She's, she's the most likely to be exposed to COVID-19. And she's going into a bar. And you hear a, a lot of these Dakotans, North and South, talking one after the other. You know, we're cowboys. If somebody tells us to do something, we do the opposite. And you know what? I can relate to that. If you watch the video from uh, those guys telling me to stand up you know, the other day, obviously, yeah, I, I feel you on that. But this is something different, man. Um, it's, you know, I, I'm not going to lecture anymore. I, I'm not. Um, you know, let the chips fall where they may. I think it was the, the governor in South Dakota that, that's still holding out, saying, oh, it's not, it's not a crisis. We're not in a crisis yet. But... Uh, I, their, their health, her health secretary said, oh yeah, it's a health crisis. Um, you know, you see these states and these states are, are, are at the top of the new infections. Like I said, we're Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, we're going up again, but we went through this hard the first time. And I'd like to think we learned a lesson. Um, but, uh, to see the, the these Dakotans, I guess I, I guess that's their name for North and South Dakotans, and I'm not just picking on you guys, but I kind of am. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna, you know, no more, no more. I'm not after this video, no more <laughs> lectures or whatever. You guys don't want to wear masks, do you know? You've been you've been warned. You got a brain in your head. Um, from here on out, whatever happens to you, your family, your friends, your neighbors, your loved one is on you. You know, you've been told, you've been warned. For months if you want to continue this you know you have nobody to blame but yourself if anything if anything bad comes out of this god forbid but no more lectures man you know if you guys want your personal freedoms you got them 
you want to gather for Thanksgiving, you got them. Just on, on my point of view, I don't think I've ever met anybody from North Dakota here in Connecticut. Not that I can remember. But let me tell you this. If somebody came up to me and said they were from North Dakota, I would immediately, I, I would distance myself from them. Seriously. Um, I'm not kidding around when I say that. Um, if probably if anybody from out of state from the Midwest, you know, not, this isn't being, this is just trying to be safe. That's all. My biggest fear, my biggest fear is my elderly relatives getting sick. Me, I, you know, I don't, I don't care. I've been through so much in my life. These are bonus years for me. Like I've told you guys in another video, the addictions, uh, all the stuff I've been through, I shouldn't even be here now. And this, these are bonus years. You know, I've been through stuff you guys wouldn't believe. Um, it's my it's my relatives, you know. For me, I, I I'm not concerned. But my if if something if, if it was ever my fault that something was given to my 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 older family members, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. I, I don't know how these people in North and South Dakota, Wyoming, Idaho, or just the whole the whole country in general. And it's a lot mainly Republicans. I I guess it's their they want their freedom. Um, you know. So be it. We'll see over the next month. You know, like I said, I, I don't wish anything bad on them. I, I, I don't by any means. But uh, I'm tired. I, I'm, I'm just too tired of, uh, of bringing this up. Wear a mask, you know. You've been told, you know, for 10 months. How many times, you know. I think, honestly, I think the more other people tell you, the more you're not going to wear it. So what's the point, really? I might as well tell you not to wear. I, I probably I probably have more luck if I told you don't wear a mask. Whatever you do, I don't want you to wear a mask. I'm gonna make. I want laws so that you don't wear a mask. Right? Pretty simple, but it'd probably work. All right, that's all I wanted to say. And again, uh, how one of the judges in Pennsylvania, Bran or Braun, Bran, Judge Bran, and this is a Republican judge in Pennsylvania ruled that uh, Trump's lawyers, Julia, uh, Giuliani and, and his crew, their case was so bad, he, uh, he compared it to a Frankenstein's monster, <laughs> all stitched together. Um, and this is, this is a Republican judge. And he, he, he had some more stuff to say, this guy. Uh, Giuliani made a fool of himself. And now, even uh, one of... One of the ex attorneys for Trump, they're dist she's saying such crazy stuff. I don't remember her name right now, but Giuliani and Trump are trying to distance themselves from this other woman attorney that's starting to say that uh, Hugo Chavez um, influenced the election. And uh, Pennsylvania and Georgia, or Georgia bought their voting machines from Venezuela and uh, Wow. Talk about throwing throwing whatever you can at the wall and seeing what sticks. Holy moly. But seriously, the country, we you know, we used to go around and watch over other people's elections. We were the shining light of democracy. We were. We were the shining example. We would go to other countries, beginning democracies, and watch our elections help. Look at us now. Look at where we are now. You know, and as I was talking to a family Trump supporter yesterday, I said, just give me the facts. Tell, tell me one shred of evidence, please. Well, they're not out yet, she said. When will they be out? Is it like Trump's taxes? He'll show us next week, next Tuesday? Is that how this is going to go? Really? You know, where's the evidence? Ah, oh, it's coming out next Tuesday. Just like his taxes, what, five years ago, four years ago? He was going to show us his taxes? That's how, I think that's the road he's taken. He's going to show, he's got that evidence, believe me, believe you. <laughs> and he's going to show it to us. He's got huge evidence, bigly evidence, and he's going to show everybody next Tuesday. Yeah, don't hold your breath. Give it up, Trump. All right, you guys have a good Monday.